Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing another way, yet again another method, uh, to turn your photos into paintings, or how to basically turn images into these cool paintings. You guys remember last time I made this video was probably maybe about a month ago. Uh, we can go over here to YouTube and we can literally just pull it up. There was a video that I made that I showed a method as to how to turn photos into paintings. And I'm actually going to type it here in the search uh, because I want to pull up that photo video. And this was the video. It was this very first video here. And basically, as you could see what the thumbnail shows, I turned this image, right, the wolf image on the left, to the wolf image on the right, right, and I showed what kind of softwares I was using and how I was going to set it up, uh, but obviously things changed since then, you could see this was the first image, just so that everybody gets an idea of what I'm talking about, this is the second image, well, I don't want to say I've discovered another method because this is not a recent discovery, and like I said, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, um, I've known about this for a little while, but I figured I'd share it with you guys. I know a lot of people in the print-on-demand space happen to have a membership to Canva. Canva.com is a software where you could create, you know, designs, right? Um, which is pretty awesome, pretty cool. Uh, they have a feature to where you can um, basically, like, turn photos into paintings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my unlimited photo software here to grab a few photos and show you how I'm going to turn them into paintings. Now you guys could do this just for fun. Uh, you could do this, you know, using uh, canvas images. You could do this really however you want to. I'm just sharing simply what I'm going to do and how I'm doing it. Something that I will add and say is um, the software for the photos that you guys are going to see me use right now. Um, was originally this company here, uh, Unlim Photos. The only problem with Unlim Photos was that they stopped offering their deal. They stopped offering their deal, and just in the nick of time, believe it or not, uh, bots and apps came out with their own software that I had been requesting for a while. And basically what their software is is a place where you can download uh, these copyright-free um, images that are not considered stock photos, but are licensed images that you can use for business purposes, commercial purposes. They have a whole list of things here. You could use it for magazines, video games, uh, print on demand, t-shirts, mugs, etc. They even, which is kind of crazy, and I've never seen a company do this, allow you to resell via stock websites. And it says it here. So like, imagine if you created an account on, I don't know, what, what kind of stock photo companies are there? Uh, I think a, uh, I, I stock. I think that's a company. Let's just say there's a stock photo company. I don't even know what stock photo companies exist. Stock photo company. Let me go ahead and search. I stock. There we go. Getty Images. I stock. You can take photos off of it and sell it on there. Now, I'm not sure who's going to do that or how you're going to do that or, you know, what the criteria is to do that, but it says you're allowed to do that. So that, I mean, pretty cool, pretty easy way to make money. The only thing that's different now is this software. This is the Unlim Photos. This was my old recommendation. Unfortunately, like I said, it's not my recommendation anymore because the deal, the fight, the, the deal that they had, they allowed us to pay a one-time payment and we would get access to these images uh, forever. The only thing was we had a limitation that we could only download 30 per day. Well, this tool, the unlimited copyright free images tool, which is this one right here, you're allowed to download an infinity number of photos per day and there's no, uh, you know, limit on it, which is pretty cool. And the pricing you have $9.99 a month or $79.99 a year. Well, it gets even better because I actually messaged the company back and I said, listen, guys, Give me a discount code that I could tell everybody who's watching a discount code so that if they want to use the, the software, they can get in on it, right? And so they said, okay, use code autopilot passive income, all one word for 10% off. I'm not going to write it in the description. I'm just going to simply say here for everybody who's actually watching. Thank you for watching. If you happen to want to use this software, you can go ahead and use it. I'm just announcing it here uh, because... I feel like it's going to take too long for me to set up the code and write it down and all this. Just literally, guys, if you want to grab it, grab it. Uh, and this is just my way of 
saying thank you to everybody who actually watches my videos as opposed to like skips through them. Uh, obviously, it helps the watch time, helps the algorithm, helps all that. So thank you guys. Uh, and for that, you guys could use my code autopilot passive income. Of course, I will get a commission. I'm an affiliate of the company. Um, I get 10% for those who want to know on that specific uh, product. So I figured I'd let you guys know. But regardless, whatever method you want to use, uh, you can grab images from anywhere. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab the images live here in front of you guys. Um, and I'm going to search for landscapes. And the reason why I'm going to search for landscapes is on Society6, which is somewhere where I sell these photos and these designs, I like to search for landscapes. I think they're one of the most uh, relaxing type of images that you could stare at or look at. Uh, honestly, you know, uh, even my dad says this, but he said there's nothing like coming home after a long day's of work and staring at a photo of a landscape. Now, the way he would say that is in a different language, so, you know, kind of bear with me if it doesn't sound right, but you get my point. Um, and I just love staring at landscapes. That's just me. You know, I remember when uh, the when I got my first cell phone and you were able to put the wallpaper on behind the cell phone, I looked for the best pictures of landscapes to put on my cell phone wallpaper. So, um, to me, it's just pretty cool, and Society6 is a great place for that. And Society6 is one of those things where, you know, you could look at the demographics behind every print-on-demand platform, and you could tell that, yeah, Society6 allows you to sell other things, you know, other kinds of decor and things like that, but things that incorporate some sort of show, like a, like a picture or a canvas of some sort, you know, like wall art is really what I'm trying to say. Uh, sells pretty good on Society6. I've never had, you know, um, an experience where they don't sell pretty well. So I just figured I'd share that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm going to open up the tool here. And you guys don't have to use this tool. I'm just simply sharing what I'm doing. I'm going to search for landscape here. So landscape. And let's hit search. And I'm going to wait for a second to see what results come up. And I like, let's see, there's a whole bunch of different photos here with like pages and pages of stuff. I really like this one. This one looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. That's interesting. I don't know anything about that, but that's, I'm not going to download it, but you know. Um, I like this one a lot too. And I like, I'm trying to think what would be go good for like a, a painting look. Uh, I think I, you know, let's download one more just for the fun of it. Let's download one more. And I think I will go with, I want something interesting. This actually looks really good. Let's give this one a shot. All right. So we got a few photos here. We got three photos. Let me, let me download two more just for the fun of it also. Um, so sorry guys, if, you, if you're watching this, just bear with me here. Sometimes... You know, I get a little too carried away, but let's go with this one as well. So we got five photos here. I'm going to upload these five photos real quick. I'm going to pause the screen into Canva, and I'm going to show you how to get this uh, set up, all right? All right, guys, so I just uploaded the the images to Canva, as you guys could see, and I'm not sure if the device is picking this up. These images, they they range in, in graphic quality. Like this one, I would say it looks like a painting kind of already. Like it doesn't even look like a real photograph. This one, the quality is a little bit lower than something like this, for example. This one is extremely, extremely high quality. I almost feel like I could see the grains of the mountains at the top, and I can also see the people at the bottom. So it ranges in quality, right? It's, I mean, you got to test. Like this one is really, really good. I could see the, the grains and the ice and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, now, once again, you guys don't have to use this uh, software that I'm using. I would just recommend that you stay away from using the images from Canva. Now, I'm not saying that you can't use images from Canva and make money. Uh, if you read the, the fine print of Canva, they say that you by can canvas not going to stop you from using it for commercial purposes however the people who license the images to canva may stop you from doing that so that's just a little fyi i know i've heard tons and tons of people complain to me before that they've used graphics from canva and it caused them to get banned on places like redbubble on teespring on things like that so just be aware of that i, I you know i'm just saying that up front not to try to convince people to join the software because 
that's not what I'm trying to do here. There are a lot of places where you can use all different kinds of images. You could even get an, uh, a membership. You can even end up paying for unlimited photos here for $11.99 a month. I just feel like this is genuinely a better deal because you're getting unlimited photos. But once again, um, just because something is quote unquote in the public domain doesn't actually mean that it's uh, protected. You know, anybody could report you for it and say, hey, that's my image. Now, obviously, they wouldn't have the grounds to stand on uh, and they wouldn't have the, the the right to take your images down, but it does happen. And we know that, you know, print on demand sometimes is an unfair game. That's the reality. So the important thing is just to be warned and to be aware before we get into it. But as long as you're aware and you do what you want to do, God bless. I mean, there's no, nothing wrong with it. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. And I'm going to just enlarge some of these images. And I'm going to, uh, the reason why I made copies of it, guys, is because I want to compare and contrast the painted version to the non painted version. And like I said, this is just a video for pure entertainment, literally. So let's go over here to edit image. And the cool thing about edit image in um, Canva is you could do some things. So they have these photogenic effects, um, which kind of like change the color scheme of the actual image. So like you could look here, this sandy effect changes the colors of the, it's almost like I'm putting a filter on the image, right? Which I like this filter. And then you have here this section that says paint effects. Now paint effects is where you can change the actual like formation of the image. So let's just go through a few of these, pick some good ones for the images and take a look at as to, you know, how it appears. So here we have mosaic, so let's see how it looks. And by the way, guys, you can play with the um, the controls of it, like how intense the effects are. So let's sit here. Let's wait as this loads. And wow, you could see this has completely changed now. It's almost even hard to tell what the image is because it's such a strong effect. But let me know if you guys see this. I actually see a person's face here. I see lips, right? Like this is the separation of the lips. Here I see the nose, right? Here I see the nose. Here's like part of the face, right? And then here I see an eye, another eye, almost like another fa a nose here like coming down, right? That's just something I just noticed right here right now. But anyways, this mosaic feature, you could tell here, guys, that there is a huge difference between this image and this image. Huge difference. Now, I'm not saying that one is going to be more profitable than the other. In fact, there are a lot of times where I like to just post the image the way it is, just as beautiful and serene as it looks, right? Like, I look at this, and, and I, it just brings peace to my eyes, right? I just become peaceful. I feel peaceful. And uh, I just like the way it looks. But anyways... Let's go ahead and, and select uh, none here. Uh, wow, it already uh, established the mosaic effect. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the image. And let's go back here. I want to copy it. And I just want to see the same effects. I want to see the other effects here. Here, let's go back to paint effects. We have Trigon. I don't know what Trigon is. Trigon? Trigon? Not sure what that is. Let's go ahead and take a look here. And wow, see, that looks better to me. That looks better than the mosaic. No offense to the mosaic, but that just looks cleaner to me. That looks good. Uh, let's see the intensity here. Can I decrease the intensity slightly? Yes, I can. Wow, guys, look at that. Now, that's what I call a painting, right? Like, that looks really good, and it looks like a legitimate painting. I'm actually going to keep that one right? I like that one. Just the way that looks. And so now you guys can see when you play around with the intensity, that could really, really shift the way your art looks. Let's go ahead and try this icy piece here, like this piece of ice. Um, looks like, like a piece straight out of Iceland or something. But uh, if you guys know where this location is, let me know in the comments. Pretty cool. But anyways, paint effects. Let's go here and click on, let's click on uh, retreat. Retorado, 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 I don't know, uh, these names are weird, but hey, that's very powerful too, but that doesn't look that appealing to me, maybe I, I'm just more, I like the blue color scheme a little bit more than the, than the brown, um, why does it turn brown, I'm not sure, let's click low intensity, let's see, let's see what low intensity looks like, I mean, it does look good, I can't shame it, it looks really good, but that looks a little bit better. I think I like low intensity for this one a little more. Let's go ahead and uh, let's click on none here because I want to play with another one. Let's check. Hmm. Let's go with M Mia. Mia. M-E-I-Y-A. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, 
Maya. I have no idea. Um, wow, that's intense right there. Let's let's slow down the intensity a little bit. Sometimes images can get so intense that you can't even tell what's going on. Um, and that's one of these images. You can't really tell what is actually happening in this image. Does it look nice? Absolutely. But do I know what's going on? Absolutely not. So let's go ahead and wait for the intensity. All right, so the intensity slowed down a bit. Let's go ahead and notch this down a little more. I like it. It's still a little bit too intense for me. Um... Yeah, I think I, I don't think I would use this effect, to be 100% honest, for this photo. Uh, the thing that I've noticed, guys, is certain effects work better with certain photos. So, let's click Vitro. Let's see how that one looks. So, yeah, is, I mean, it's not always going to be the case where one effect is always good or one effect is always bad. I mean, we just won't know. Um, so, let's go ahead and see here. So, that... <clears throat> let's see here. Eh... Honestly, maybe this photo is not the best for the effects. I'm I'm starting to think that maybe the ones that, um, you know, that have a lot of details in them, just like up close details, maybe, uh, like this one, makes it a better image. I mean, I'm really not sure. Maybe you guys can weigh in on this. Um, now look at some other effects here on Canva. You got the blur effect. Prisma, Screen, Liquify, Vision, Simulator. I have no idea what that is. You have Slice. Uh, guys, I would never use some of these, like the Slice, the Color Mix. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. Let's see. You could see I clearly have never used this. Let's use Rainbow. Wow, that looks pretty cool. That's a, This is something I would use, this little rainbow effect. I like the way that looks. And you can play with, like... The colors on that. That's pretty cool. I, I do like this. I like this one a lot. Now, am I going to use it like this and, and print it out this way? Probably not. But, um, because I don't think this would be the perfect image for it. But there are certain scenarios where that looks really good. Let's go ahead and try this one. I think by far I'm impressed by this image the most. This image just looks great to me. I think, once again, it's because the close-up kind of of the details. There's a lot of details. Uh, I think it's just selecting the right photo is part of the game. You know, parting the part of the game for you know picking the right one as far as how it looks. But let's go ahead and give this one a shot. Let's hit edit image here. Let's go with uh, first. I want to try color mix. Let's see what happens for something like this that's all blue. Now I might be messing up the photo uh, because of the color mix kind of thing, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I think I'd be messing it up to be a hundred percent honest. Marine, make it pink. Yeah, that's not for me. I like it natural. Uh, let's go back. Let's head over to paint effects. And let's check sea foil. I want to see what that is. Sea foil. How that one's going to look. This is once again the sea foil paint effect. Now this is okay. You can kind of tell what's going on. Um, would I personally order it like this? No. And a lot of the times guys. If I'm not going to personally order it the way it looks. I, I Then I wouldn't re usually sell it. 9 times out of 10. That's kind of like my barometer. Is I'm not going to sell something. Unless I believe that I would pay for it. So. Which is I, I feel like a good way to live. But I would I would pay for something like this a little bit. Because I decrease the intensity. And that does change the look. Like from this to this. That changes the intensity slightly. And, and it does look more like a painting. So I do like this a little more. So you could see here the difference, guys, in the photo, which is a slight difference. It's not dramatic. It's slight, but it does make it look more like a painting. You could see there's a little, like, blemish, like, kind of like a blur almost on the the uh, the rowers here. And this one is a little more clear. So it does look better. You could definitely tell that it looks more like a painting. So that's cool to me. Let's check out this one. This one, like I said, it's almost like a photograph. This one is interesting. I feel like this one would work better with the color effect, um, the color mix one. Let's try the rainbow color mix once again. See, that to me looks better. And let's play with the intensity or the offset rather. Offset? No, that's kind of weird. Um, I, don't, I don't really know how I would want to set this up like this, but... I mean, I do like it like this. Don't get me wrong. Like, you guys tell me, this to me looks better than this. But it does is, is very powerful. The colors are very powerful, uh, especially the pink. Like, if I could decrease the pink, that would be better. Um, let's go ahead and check out Barca as a photo, as a photo effect. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. Let's give it a minute here. 
And once again, it's still loading, so it might it's got a lot of work to do. Okay, see, once again, this is just way too intense for me. I can't really tell what's going on in the photo. Um, wow, look at this. Now, now we changed it, guys. We changed it a little bit, right? So you could see the photo here, and I switched it to low intensity. So we'll see what happens, but... I'm really looking for something to change around the clouds. There we go. That's what I like. Okay, I like this. This is not too bad. Um, it's not too bad at all, actually. Uh, all right, so I'll, I'll keep it like that. So from this photo, we went to this photo. Not the best, obviously. Uh, but once again, you're dealing with a situation where, you know, if you have a Canva membership, you could easily do this, right? So you have we have this photo, which I really, really, really like. This photo, which is okay, I mean, it could have been better, could have been worse, but it's, a, you know, right in the middle, in my opinion. This one is the most epic, in my opinion. I like this one a lot. It worked out really good. Um, this one here, turn to this, which, honestly, this is, like, the most authentic look for a painting for me, out of all of them. And this one, I don't know what I did here. I think I tried some stuff, but it just didn't work out. Let me give it one more shot. Let's check stencil. Let's just go black and white. Let's see how it looks. And this might be like, you know, a shot clock kind of thing. See if it works out and see if it looks good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know about that one, guys. That's a little too much for me. Um, there's a lot going on there. That's, you know, I that's a lot going on there. Maybe, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what the weird thing is with that. Maybe you'd be able to sell that as like a pattern, but... To be honest, in my opinion, I wouldn't pay for something like that. That's just my opinion. And maybe my opinion is flawed, but hey, it's my opinion. Um, yeah, some images I think are better than others for paintings. For me, an image like this, honestly, it's so good that it doesn't need to be converted into a painting. I'd slap it right on Society6 and sell it just the way it is. Um, once again, this, this effect, this Punto effect, let's see. It's just, once again, I mean, you're only damaging the image when it looks like this. You guys let me know. That's my opinion. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, that's all I got to say, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, this video entertained you, and uh, that's all I got to say, all right? Peace out. Bye.